Welcome, 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 everybody, to the big podcast with Shaq on a Thursday. Shaquille's shaking his head already. Spice is nodding his head. Somebody's saying yes, somebody's saying no. I'm starting with no. Why no, Shaquille? Because I'm a Kanye fan, and he said he was going to start, uh, you know, selling his Yeezy glasses to the consumer. So I go to Amazon, because he's the biggest, and I type in Yeezy, and look what they send me. Oh, no. Look at this. Uh, let me see. What do you got? What do you got? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Man, you got them Robocops. What is Van Linker? <laughs> Van Linker, I appreciate you very much. Because I just typed in Kanye West Yeezy glasses and I saw them, but I didn't look at the size. Man, I bought like I bought like one pair, two pair. <laughs> Three pair, four oh. pair, five oh. pair, six pair. <laughs> they all look like this. So I'm going to rock them. So you know what? Forget the Yeezys. You want to get some of these Deezys. You want to get some Deezys. of these bad people with Deezys. <laughs> Okay, you need to do. You need to put up a like you know what I ordered and what I got. You need to put up one oh, of those yeah. thingies oh, <laughs> and the side by side of that. So I say welcome everybody on a Thursday to the big podcast with Shaq, except for Dennis Schroeder. I'm not welcoming him anywhere because Why his not? math ain't mathin'. Because his math ain't mathin', and I'm really <laughs> irritated with him. Hey man, you got to get it how you live. So he gets nothing but the gas face from me. I agree. You had eighty-four million on the table from the Lakers, and you agreed to two point six. Mm. Happens to the best of us. This right here is yeah. dummy of the forever. Yeah. This is the dummy of the forever. <laughs> Not of the forever. <laughs> eighty-four into four. I don't even feel like doing the math, but I think that's twenty-one. It is, Doctor O'Neill. Then you went and played last year for five six. Had a terrible year. Now you got to go down two six. So guess what? You're done, buddy. You done. That, but would you come back? Let me just ask you this. Would you come back to the Lakers? Because that's a, how do you even walk back in the building? Because first of all, 2.6 is 1.3. And I yes. seen him in Atlanta. He had Ferraris and Lamborghinis. So he playing for free this year. That man had a camouflage <laughs> Lamborghini one time I seen that man. Shut up. That man had a camouflage Lamborghini cruising on Peachtree. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, baller, shot caller. And he's married, so the 1.3 is down to 650. Well, so sure there you is. go. Sure is. <laughs> so what Russ going to do, man? What Russ going to do? Did he get traded? Because I keep seeing something in there that says he was traded, he wasn't traded. No, he's there. He's there. He's there. We just, nobody knows what he's, what he's going to do, but he is there. So, I mean, Dennis, you got to be riding the bench then, right? He's six man. Um, your boy Ben Simmons has decided to talk. I don't know if you've seen the interview, but I'm going to run down a couple of things that he said because he also did address you specifically. Good. So it was about an hour and some change conversation with J.J. Reddick, um, and he went over a lot of things. First of all, I think I have a little apology because we clowned him. I know I did about coming to practice with the cell phone in his pocket. He said it was not a cell phone. He said it was his jersey in his pocket, and he doesn't understand why people thought it was a cell phone, but it was not a cell phone. That's what the man said. <laughs> so if it was not a cell phone, then I apologize for that because I gave yeah. you hell for people having a cell phone. People mistake jerseys for cell phones all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, he talked a lot about um, mental health and and how he is Hello? dealing with... <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got another call. Hello? What'd you say? Okay, cool. All right. Well, hold, 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 hold on. My new phone came in. Oh, okay. The mini came in. Hello? How you doing, buddy? You doing all right? I don't want to hear some stuff. The man had a phone in his pocket. And how do you fold a yeah. jersey to make yeah. it look like a cell yeah. phone? Like, how do you do that? You it must have been a saying. baby jersey. The man went on record saying it was a jersey in his pocket. It was not mm. a cell phone. Um, okay. He also said about the incident during, what was it, game four or game six? In the play where he dribbled down and around and, and didn't take the shot and passed out. Um, mm -hmm. When he was against uh, Trey Young. So he says he did not know it was Trey at the time. All he saw was a jersey. So he mm. said, yes, he should have punched it in. He was wrong for that. He didn't realize it was Trey. He said he was doing a spin move and all he could see was Jersey. He did not see who he was guarding. He went on to say, yes, go ahead, Shaquille. Okay. 
Spice knows this. That's an excuse. I don't give a damn if Michael Jordan is on your back. I don't give a damn if, if T-Mac with Yao Ming and me is on your back. You throw it down. It's the playoffs. We're trying to advance. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. Now listen, yeah. I, 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 I don't want to hear no excuses. You're 6'9". You're one of the strongest guys in the league. You can overpower little guys, and you're compatible and maybe equal to some of these big guys because there's only one real big guy in the league. Guess what? He's on your team. He's on your team. <laughs> That's true. Joel was on your team. You're right. Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks ain't got no big physical guys. So I don't want to hear that excuse. I mean, I agree. I think it was an excuse. I think he said it was an excuse. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool mm-hmm. me. And Spice to tell you this, even through the helmet, when you're on the line, eyes don't lie, Michelle. Right. I don't give a damn what you're talking about when you get behind the microphone talking to me. Your eyes don't lie. That man was terrified because I was at that game. That man was scared. I don't, I don't well, he invited you said. and all the rest of the critics to come watch game tape with him so he could break it down for no, you. No, I, I don't need to watch game tape. I saw what I saw. You saw everything we needed to see. <laughs> I saw what I saw. And then, you know, the fact that, you know, he's still talking about it, it's affecting him. Well, I think mm-hmm. this is the first time he did an interview. If you're going to be honest, give him the benefit of the doubt. No, see, and, and see, this is what we don't need. We don't need mama, baby, and the little boy. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the little boy into an NBA man. There's okay. pressures. There's a lot of things that you have to grow through. There's ridicule. There's criticism. There's hate. There's sometimes there's hate from your own teammates in your own organization. But the ones that walk around like they're great and the ones that pretend to be great have to persevere. You have to get through all that. People talk about my free throws all the damn time. You think I care? I do not. That don't bother me. And when you get to a certain level, stuff like that can't bother you. And see, when you whine and whine and whine, you get all these people that, you know, okay, it's okay. It's not okay. Because guess what? The fans that's paying, like Spice and his beautiful sons and, you know, his two beautiful daughters, when they pay all that money to watch me play, they don't want to hear no excuses. But guess what? Spice got a job. And Spice got to take a piece of that job, a lot of money, Buy those good seats for his kids. Some of that money is coming to you. We don't want to hear no excuse. I don't want to hear you 6'9", 6'10", talking about all I saw is a jersey. I want to see you throw it down so we can get to the finals. He did say he should have punched it in. Um, on the on the 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 um topic of, you know, dealing with criticism, he did say he felt like Doc Rivers and Joel Embiid threw him under the bus um and used him as an excuse. So what.com. I hear you. I'm just saying what the man said. I have an answer to all of that because I've been there uh-huh. and done that. I've been uh-huh. to the mountaintop. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're doing. I know what you're going through. You think I was uh, not nervous for shooting the free throws after, you know, missing free throws? And listen, when, you, when you're the one or one two punch and you lose, it's your fault. That's the name of the game. E.T. Mm-hmm. right there, if y'all don't continue to win Emmys and you start losing things, it's going to be you and Kevin's fault. True. Not the producers, yeah. not the CEO, not the CFO, not the program director. Gonna be your fault, Spice. Yep. When you start doing skits and people ain't laughing and doing that, it's gonna be your fault. When I start, you know, acting crazy and doing whatever I do on TNT, it's my fault. That's the name of the game. You have to accept it. You can't run away from it. If you don't, if you try to run away from it, don't play. Get the money mm-hmm. back. I don't want to hear it. He did say he has been going through some serious mental health struggles. He does feel like he's on the other side of it. He's ready to play this year. But then um, JJ and his partner asked him directly and specifically about you and Charles. And I want to play this clip because I don't want to summarize this. I want you to hear exactly what Ben had to say. So can we roll the clip? I I watched a lot of the stuff that, you know, Barkley and Shaq and those guys were saying. And, you know, he mentioned Stephen A before and everything like that. I personally, like like Jay just said this before, like your ability to withstand that kind of thing is really impressive because anybody at any age would hear that kind of, you know, personal attack and they would feel that this is not somebody talking about my basketball, this is somebody talking about me as a human being. Where are you now? Because you're, you know, you know we've known you for a long time. You're in a really good place basketball wise, but then also mentally. Where are you now just sort of looking forward? Is it almost something where you will, when you see that happening to somebody else, does it give you sort of perspective of uh, like almost like a level of empathy you might not have had before because you've now gone through it? For sure. Even like hearing John, you know, you see what John Wall was talking about. Yeah, his situation, like people go through it. Like doesn't matter how much money you got, how famous you are. Like this, 
it's real. Like people go through everyday struggles. Um, but he, like, like, I think it's kind of ignorant in terms like Shaq and, and Chuck sometimes what they're saying and, and because they have a platform to kind of like protect us and, you know, you do good. Um, obviously they, they're supposed to, you know, criticize us, you know, we're basketball players, but when it comes to like personal stuff, I think there's a level of like respect they should have. Um, even Shaq, like when I was dealing, you know, with, with everything going on, I actually messaged him and he put it out and I was like, all right, but I'm like, Shaq, you sent him a DM. Yeah. I DM him. I was like, like, why are you saying this if you don't even know the story? Because he always wants to say, like, yo, we're LSU brothers. You're my brother, all this, that. If you're my LSU brother, you would have reached out by now. And it's been months since I've been dealing with this. You ain't reach out once and say, hey, you okay? Like, what's going on? The one person who did reach out was Jay Williams. And he had a real talk with me. I was like, I really appreciate that because, you know, you're trying to understand what's going on with me. Because he did say something, then he took it back, which I appreciate. And I think it's just a level of, like, people understanding and not just just speaking just to speak not to get clicks or whatever it is so i really respect jay for that that was to me that meant more than anything that was going on um but that's what i that's what you love to see from you know ex players and, and she kill o'neal like i got shaq hating on me like it's crazy but yeah that's i think that's what it is for me just that level of like understanding and respect like don't don't talk if you don't know would you like for me to answer a question, ask a question, or do you just want to go? No, I'll go. First of all, okay. these young players, don't need, you need to understand, Shaquille O'Neal don't need to hate on you. Everything you're doing, I done done it a hundred times over. First of all, if you play at 930 and we come on at 10 and we say something, it's just what we see. Mm -hmm. The mental health thing ain't come out until everybody start bashing you. Then you let people know you have mental health problems. And if you go back, Donzel's a witness. He's a producer on the show. I think I ever did it on the show or did it on you. I told the world, I said, he DM'd me. He told mm -hmm. me he's going through some problems. And I said I was going to back off. Exactly you did say that. I, did. I saw that. I did. Yes. Exactly. I said I was going to back off. So, and then I told him in the DM, okay, the reason why people don't know what's going on because you ain't talking. Right. But as far as what I saw, this is what I saw. I speak on what I saw and I speak on what I know. I know how to get to that next level. He knows that. And yes, you can be my brother, but I ain't going to always sugarcoat things. I'm going to tell you the real. You're never going to sugarcoat things. I ain't going to never sugarcoat. And I want you to get to the level, to the level, to the level. But you can't say I'm hating because all the stuff you're doing it, you're doing it because you saw me do it. Well, I hate the term hating on if you don't if you don't say a hundred percent of that someone's good, they always say you're hating. I, I don't like that term. Listen, if you're a greater, you can't be a hater. Yep. Let's just get that straight <laughs> right now. If you're greater, Come you on. can't be no hater. Come on. First of all, like I said, I'm just I'm just talking about what I see as a player, and I'm talking about what you got to do to get to that next level. If you don't like what I say, that ain't my problem. First of all, right. it's, it's never a personal attack on you. I just say what I saw. I saw in his eyes he was scared. I saw he was out and scared. And guess what? Everybody goes through struggles. We all yeah. do. Everybody goes through struggles. We all do. Okay? But this is the game we play. This is the life we live. You're going to take criticism. They pay us a lot of money. Somehow you have to deal with it. Okay? Now, I'm not going to talk about the mental health thing because I know that's a real thing. And again, this is the first time he's talked in two years. So yes. I wish him well. And, you know, I hope he does what he does. But listen, I come from the era where there's no excuses. Mm -hmm. You know, same problems he had. You don't think I have them problems? You don't think the everyday man has those same problems? We all have those problems. But I found a way to overcome and persevere. It's one of my favorite words. You know, Spice and I like talking about persevere. Spice understand when I say persevere. So, mm -hmm. look, we all have those problems. But I come from the era where there's no excuses. When I missed free throws, it wasn't, oh, oh, no, you just missed. Get your ass in the gym. We got a game tomorrow. We need this win. Let's go to the next level. Let's go to the final. So, and then, listen, my message to players, if you don't want me to say nothing about you, I won't say nothing about your ass. Because it ain't going to trust me. Well, that's the issue <laughs> there. That's, that's it, listen, it ain't going to stop nothing I got going on. Trust me on that. Spicy, I don't know if if you feel this way, but but I feel like I'm glad that Ben did this interview. But I also felt like this interview showed that he is still very thin skinned, um, and that I also think it showed how this generation of players also 
wants to be coddled. And that, I think, is a problem because it was a little bit of a contradiction what he said. And he said, well, they have a platform to protect us and to do good. That's not your job. That is not your job. And so then he's like, well, I guess Mm -hmm. they are, they're supposed to, you know, they are supposed to criticize. Yes. Your job is to talk about what you see. You're an analyst. Your job is to analyze what you see. So I think this generation of players, and I'm speaking to all these guys, Draymond included, who says, you know, he's starting this new media that they're not going to be any, you know, not going to talk bad about any players or anything like that. I think that's BS because your job is a paid analyst. Your job is to say the good, the bad, and the ugly. Period. Your job is not to get on there and say Ben Simmons looks cute in his green outfit. It's not. And not only that, analyze from a Hall of Fame point of view. I'm not Woj. I don't just sit and. Well, he's there. Don't don't hate on Woj. (laughs) No, 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 listen, no, I'm I'm not. But the difference between Woj and myself is Woj didn't play. Woj is fabulous, the best at his job, but I played. So Mm -hmm. I see things that other people can't see, and Woj sees things that I can't see. Right. And Absolutely. that's why, you know, and, you know, that's why it's have to good to have different analysts. And this message to the guy who brought my name up. Shut your face up, little man, because we still don't know who you are. <laughs> J.J. Ray's partner. Oh, Shaq and Charles. I, I was going to say his partner. I don't know what yeah, his name I is. No, I just yeah, said J.J. Say, oh, Shaq and Charles. Hey, man, I, <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm always say what I see, and I'm always give guys constructive criticism to help them get to the next level. Because if you don't want to get to the mountaintop of the Hall of Fame, I don't give a damn. Either you want to get there or you don't. Like, you know, we talked about certain players. Okay, they're good. Okay, that's, now you're good. That's what it is right there. Good. That's what I'm saying. Okay, you're good. All right. People now, people uh, misinterpret hate and constructive criticism. They do it good. all the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, we're all in this together. If you lose a critical game and I say something and then you step your game up, now we got an extra game. Everybody eat. You know how I know everybody eat? You got bums making $300 million. That's how I know everybody eat. So when I give constructive criticism to get you to that next level, you could take it or leave it. Like, if you're good, I want you to be great. If you're great, I want you to be greater. If you're greater, why not try and be one of the greatest? You know, some people are just happy where they are. I, 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 I ain't never happy. I'm not happy now. That's why I work, work, work. Sometimes you have to leave people where they are. I mean, sometimes you, th- these people yeah. who, even if they're really good, they don't want to be great. Like you said, I just, I didn't like that. I didn't like how he said, don't talk if you don't know. Well, Shaquille does know. I, and, and so that's like a, that's. You no, know, he was talking about, don't talk about it if you don't know what's going on. Well, if you don't talk, nobody knows what's going on. So right. now you're talking, everybody knows what's going on. So I guess people are going to baby you and coddle you. But that's when we had that specialist. I was asking certain questions. Yes. Because again, when I but when I think about mentally health people that are down, I see them. They're down. They're all the way down. You know, the fact that you sitting in your your green leather and you know always flexing your your famous girlfriend and then your Ferrari and all that, you look fine to me. That's all I'm saying, Michelle. People can't leave be it at that. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that. I, I, I'm just saying, you look fine to me. <laughs> that, that's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. And you're, you are correct, but people can <laughs> suffer in silence. They definitely can. And I'm glad, like I said, he did say that he thinks taking the first step and admitting that he's got mental health struggles will go a long way. In we all have struggles. Yes. We all have struggles. Yes, I agree. Uh, speaking of we all have struggles, they're struggling in Phoenix right now. Um, Shaquille, you and Dennis Scott came on this podcast and said you were ready to buy a team. You wanted to buy the Magic. So I wonder, does that transfer over to the Suns? Are you open to trying to purchase the Phoenix Suns? I was open until I saw the initials mm. JB. Hey, no. JB? Let me tell you something. You don't mess with James Brown. <laughs> you don't mess with Jeff Bezos. <laughs> like, when them boys come on stage, get your and go. Uh, you know, Jeff said he wanted a couple other heavy hitters said they wanted to come yeah. out. I'm not going. I'm not going to even put my name in the bucket on this one. I'm not. No, you gonna uh, step out of that one? Yeah, I'm gonna step out of it. But I thought <laughs> even Superman uh, got kryptonite, huh? <laughs> and, I, and I love Adam Silver. Yes, and I will never, will never try to correct this man. Or, or criticize this man. He's done a lot for these players. They should thank him. I thought the fine that they gave Sauber was minimum. Bogus, yeah. I thought, it was, 
I thought it was if a major crime was committed, it'll be equivalent to a guy getting probation. Mm. Right. They, they, you know, mm -hmm. they suspended him for one year and, uh, you know, they gave him a fine of $10 million. I didn't read all the stuff that was going on, but when you see. It wasn't word, great. It was bad. Yeah, when you see the N word, you see sexism and you see, you know, this and that and, you know, mistreatment of people and, uh, and to, to be suspended for one year. And, and, and listen, suspended means you can't show up. But if I'm right. suspended from from Shaq Shoe Industries, you best believe I'm still running it. Right. I might not be I might not be in the Shaq Shoe building, but I'm gonna be like, hey man, get them out of uh, boom boom boom. Put the re like I'm, I'm gonna still be running. So the fact that you say he's suspended means he can't come to the games and he can't show up in the building, but he's still gonna be running it. So I thought it was mm -hmm. I thought it was was very minimal what they did. But then he came out and said, because this is a rough climate and nobody's forgiving him. He's prepared to sell the team, so I thought that was uh, thought that was interesting. Well, I think that that having um, a number of players step up and, and speak out also goes a long way in that. And I agree with you. I think Adam Silver is actually the best commissioner um, to ever run the the National Basketball Association. I thought David Stern was a good commissioner, but I think Adam Silver is really great. However, during that press conference where he was asking answering questions about Robert Sarver and the punishment, I thought he it felt ill prepared. It felt like he didn't really know what was happening, um, and he couldn't really answer any questions. And so I was a little disappointed in that. And I agree. I thought the fine was nothing. I mean, ten million is like what to him a thousand dollars like to a regular person, like I, I didn't think that there was much going on. So I do think it's interesting who's going to end up owning that team. If Bezos is owning that team, that's going to be fun in Phoenix. It's going to be very fun. First thing he's going to do is tear that old ass arena down. <laughs> we have a new arena. The Footprint Arena is new, isn't it? Footprint Center? Isn't it new? Oh, see, I, I didn't know they had a new arena, see? Yeah, yeah, it's new. There okay. you go, see? All right. Um, I did see Chris Paul the other day and, you know, he's got a new vegan snack line out. So I went and hung out with him for a second, talked about his new vegan snack line. So <laughs> way to go, Chris Paul. Let's do good this season, Chris Paul. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Not saying any other Let's names, say, uh, just saying Gotta Chris get Paul. that out, huh? That's it. That's it. Spice, can you hear that music? My Michelle Lamar. And you know the brother day, <laughs> my By the way, have you seen that meme that's been popping up this week that says you were sitting courtside with Stevie Wonder and he yelled brick when LeBron put oh, up a yeah. shot? Is that fake? Yes. I is that is. fake? Okay. Okay. I, I was so. like, I we've so. never heard that story. I think that's a fake right. one. I'm not really sure. It's like, how do, how do you know? How do you know it's a brick? First of all, I would never, ever disrespect the great LeBron James like that. And my Stevie Wonder story is true. Okay, but that isn't one of them. I got it. Now, Shaquille, um, you mentioned your picture, and I know we're going to get into it. No, 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 no. Fat daddy picture. Say, oh, okay. say it correctly. You know. I'm sorry. You, men right. you, you mentioned your fat daddy picture, and we're going to get into that. But um, I do have a PSA for all the ladies and a few fellas that have been in my DMs asking if I can give them the pathway to you. Y'all, I can't help you get to Shaquille and his grooves in his stomach. His DMs are wide open. Go there. <laughs> Go to his DMs. Michelle, I'm just saying. <laughs> we've, we've, we've known Shaq for a, a while now. Now, we all know. We all know that it's Photoshop, Michelle. Oh. We, we all know. I don't that care. Photoshop, that was a video. Hey, look, I, I don't video, care Spice. what type of program you promoting, because I get Spice. all the little paid advertisement stuff. Oh, look at Shaq. He's using Novatech. Ah, no, I don't care about all that. This junk is Photoshopped. Spice. Photoshop. That was a video. That wasn't a picture. That was a video. No. Can you Photoshop uh, okay. a video? CGI. Can you manipulate CGI. a video? Adobe. <laughs> that man used Adobe. Isn't your trainer there with you? Can he verify? You're yeah, right. Oh, my I'm God. Right. His trainer's there with Michelle, him. He had everybody right. live for him, man. He be having everybody <laughs> live for him. So you think Rock be, is a paid actor? Yeah, right. He be calling <laughs> random people in here. Remember he had that grilled cheese sandwich? Like, he already had that queued up. <laughs> Well, I'm the one who said the trainer, so he couldn't have had it queued up because I'm Michelle, the one who said, isn't your this trainer? This man had his mom lie about him getting 
quadruple <laughs> promoted and all I this did. stuff, man. Oh my god, that's Dude, hilarious. Really, okay, well, Rock, Rock, Rock apparently is somewhere else. So, Rock, oh, there he is. Oh, Rock, Rock, sorry. She said, oh, "Bro, get the camera so they can see you." Oh. He ain't training you. Stop. Hey, Rock. They said they said that my don't uh, say my they. Six, I didn't say that. Spice. They said that my six pack is Photoshop. Is it it's Photoshop? Photoshop. Rock. No, hey, you saw the video. The video is proof. There's no Photoshop. No Photoshop going on video. Who said that? Chicago. We done. No. Come over here. <laughs> oh, Lord, here comes everybody. <laughs> Photoshop. Now, Chicago is my best friend from Blue Chips. Chicago, you saw me working out the other day. Look in the camera. It, it was, was Photoshopped. It was what? <laughs> Photoshopped. I said it. You heard me, man. You heard me. It was Photoshopped. Get out of here, man. Everybody knows that. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chicago. Yes. Thanks, Rock. <laughs> uh, listen, that, that picture had folks going crazy. That picture had folks saying, put him in a Marvel movie. Thanos is real. All of that stuff. That's all the aunties. All the aunties is going crazy. Oh, the aunties are on one for yeah, sure. All the aunties. aunties are on one Shaq for sure. ain't looking for no auntie right now. No. Speaking of on one. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of on one, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mercury is in retrograde because <laughs> I can't even tell you what the hell is going on this week. Here we go. Folks Here we go. are losing Buckle their up. ever loving minds. Buckle They're up. losing their minds. Shaquille, this is where we need you to put on LSU Love Shack University hat because day after day, it has been. This person stepping out on this person. This person's cheating on this person. What is happening? First, we mm, had our mm, friend, mm. my celebrity crush, Adam Levine. He got in front of his stuff. Then the next day, now we have Ime Udoka and the situation going on in Boston. I am going to step down from this conversation. Let me tell okay. you why. Okay. I was a serial cheater. It would be mm -hmm. crazy and blasphemous for me to get up here and say, boom, boom, bam, I can't do that. I know these guys personally. I know they're going through a lot because I went through a lot. I uh, just wish that, you know, certain parties weren't involved. Like, I, I've, I've known Nia Long for a long, long time. I like her. I know Adam for a long time, and they're going through a lot of family stuff. But I'm, I'm never the guy that's going to get up here because of my platform and fake it. I did it. You know, I was the best at it. I'm not proud of it. I lost my family doing it. I uh, lost uh, valuable, important years with my children from doing it. So I refuse to get up here. You shouldn't have did this. You shouldn't have did that. I'm not that guy. I'm real with the situation. Isn't that the lesson, Shaquille? Like, I guess my question would be, is it worth it? Is it worth now he faces a year suspension? Is it worth Adam's wife is pregnant with their third child? Is it worth what he's got to go? Like, that's the thing. That's the question. But hold on, Michelle. It's a, it's a difference between DMs and actually following through. Agree. With all this I agree. Stuff, so. I absolutely agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. And I do think the Adam situation is murky because I I necessarily, not that I, say, I would say if I was a woman that I would love it, but I think a DM, a, a flirty text is much different than... Mm -hmm you know, going all the way or meeting up or doing sucks, whatever. Though. So in, yes. in, in law terms, I can say I'm going to do something, right? But until I make the overt act, it's not really a crime. Like I can say right now, next person that calls my friend and pranks call him on the phone, I'm going to go punch him in the face. Now if I actually take my car and start driving towards their house to, you know, commit a crime, then that's conspiracy. I can be charged with conspiracy. But to answer your question, no, it is not worth it. But let me tell you why. The happiest days of my life were coming home and hearing six different people say, Daddy, Daddy, that happiest days of my life. Forget the money, forget the cars, even forget the championship, especially when they were little and two and three and didn't really care that I missed 10, 15 free throws. They wait up for me at the games. And, Daddy, can we go to Universal? Those are the best days of my life. When I lost those, I'm not going to use the D word because I know a lot of people are suffering with that, but I was all the way down. And sometimes right. I'm still all the way down, especially when I was in my house in Orlando, which is 70,000 square feet, in there by myself. Right. Nobody. Like, I built a house for the kids, gym, game room, 
pool house, this and that, guest house for the mom and all that. When I lost that by being stupid, it, it killed me. So to answer your question, no, it's not worth it. I wish these two fellas the best. I wish they can come through it, and I hope they do not lose their families over what was done. So again, I'm yeah. not going to sit up here and say, and you know, call these people out because I did it. And Shaquille O'Neal is never to never want to be a hypocrite in real life situations. I'll, I'll always be a hypocrite in basketball because that's what I do. Mm-hmm. But you know, in real life situations, I can't call these guys out. I know all these guys personally, so they're already taking a lot of flack. And you're doing this and you're doing that. I'm not going to be that guy. I wish them luck, and I hope they can come out of this ordeal, and I hope that they don't lose their families. Well said, my guy. That is really well said, Shaquille. And and I love, like I said, I think the overall message for you, because you can speak to it, is what's the lesson here? So I think you said that really, really well. I'm serious, though. If I hear one more, please, somebody, rap Steph Curry in bubble rap. Don't let him out the house, because he's my last hope. I just don't. I just like just let's put him. Oh, you gonna you gonna try to keep it light skin, huh, Nichelle? Oh, the light skin what? guys, man. What? Do you know Steph? I do know Steph. Well, do you know Spice? I do know Spice. We're gonna open up my dog Spice, who's the perfect husband. dot com, except for wearing a zoot suit tonight on his wife's date. But that's a misdemeanor. <laughs> We going to the uh the Kevin Hart comedy show, man. And I <laughs> they dare me that I will wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm wearing it tonight at the United Center. It is going it, and down. And AC uh, does not want him to, but he is gonna wear it. Shaq, I shouldn't have said nothing. I should just pull it up on him with it on. Oh Lord. Yeah, See. Sure. I shouldn't um I didn't ha- feel like I had to say spicy, Shaquille, because we all know. Like, that's not even in our minds. We don't have to bubble wrap Spicy. He can walk around just free and clear. He ain't, ain't nothing happening, Captain. Ain't nothing happening. Checks in the mail, guys. And, and listen, trust, trust me when I tell you, Spice is a thousand percent beautiful human being. He is. He's a, because he's an Omega man with men, and we've been in places, and he'll just turn around and be like, all right, man, I'm going to holler at y'all later. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of that stuff don't be my scene, Shaq. <laughs> you, know, you know, come on, bro, let's just go in the club, sit out hop. Nah, man, can't do it, man. I got to go home. <laughs> so, Vice, I love you, and I respect you for that, and I wish I could be as honorable as you. I uh, appreciate you, man. I'm, I'm going to take my flowers. This man said the minute he met AC, he called everybody who even thought they had a little little conversation. Was like, boom, 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 goodbye, farewell. I bid y'all all adieu. This my lady, this my lady, this my lady right here. Hey, so. Michelle, with a, with a flip phone. It was a flip phone at that time. <laughs> Flipped it up like, hey, if you thought we got something, we, we ain't Not got that. Not a flip phone. It's, it's, it's Not a, a whole rap. flip. The I flip. love it. I love it. Okay, more drama in the NBA, though, not just with with Ime and whatever's happening over there, which the other thing I don't like, hey, Internet, Beyonce's Internet, quit trying to out people. They did not name this person. They're trying to, like, do process of elimination and put this other person's business out there. Stop that. Stop that's it. That's your fault. That, that's all your fault. For <laughs> believing in me. For Who believing did that? In no, no, you keep talking about Internet. The internet ain't no real place. I know. That's why I called it Beyonce's Internet. Um, so I do want to give, give a shout out, though, because we do have a, a new WNBA champion, the Las Vegas Aces. Um, I was mm. They were a whole mood after they won that <laughs> the championship. Asia had me on the floor laughing. Asia is a beast. Oh, my God. At that press conference, hilarious. I was dying. It was hilarious. <laughs> she was a beast. <laughs> yes, she no is question. hilarious. Um, but they were great. They were great and they deserve it. You know, they deserve it. I will say this. I did see today. This is day 217 of Brittany Griner being um, in captivity in Russia. It's a shame she missed the whole season this year. Um, But I I thought it was great, too, because I think people really like leaned in to this uh, WNBA playoffs. And I saw a lot of coverage on it and I saw that the stands were full and I really liked seeing that. A quick question with that, though, Um, when we're talking about. Um, you know, the Robert Sarver situation. So the last two championships for women's basketball came from Dawn Staley, who is now the coach at South Carolina, and Becky Hammond, who is the coach of the Aces. Both of those coaches were passed over for Chauncey Billups, who, of course, is the new coach in Portland. What do you think about that? Is it time for that glass ceiling to be broken, Shaquille? No, it's there. If they're better qualified than Chauncey Billups, then yes. Okay? And I don't know how you 
tell if a person is better qualified or not. But when I'm running a company, I need the top people, male or female. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not looking at oh this, this, and that for no. I need I need the top quality person. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you know we could have went for somebody that had a lot of followers, but guess what? Michelle Turner is the best qualified person out of all the people we interviewed. She does this. She wins Emmys. She's good looking. She's well prospected. She's getting a job. Not, oh, well, this guy has 100 million followers and 100 million right. TikTok. No, no, no. Funniest guy out there right now, been funny for a long time, is Spice Adams. We could have went with this guy or this guy. So me, when I'm putting my stuff together, I'm looking for the best qualified people. So I wish I could answer that question more. And I don't want to want to make it sound like I'm disrespectful, but but me, I'm looking for you know the most qualified. So I mean, and listen, but those ladies are are qualified. You know, she was a first year coach, and, and uh, I love uh, Becky. She's a good friend of mine. She's done a great job. But so to answer your question, yes, it is time. But me personally, I'm looking for the top qualified person. I hear you. I hear you. Spicy. This has been yeah, this man. this segment has been spicy already. So I don't even know, oh, no. know what you have. I don't know how you're gonna top this. Um, but Shaquille, on the other side, I'm going to ask you this question before we come back. Because have you been watching the Lake the 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 documentary on the Lakers on Hulu? Yes, I have. I have. It's amazing, and and yes. episode seven blew my mind. So we'll talk about that on the other side. Let's go. And what was episode break. seven? I forgot. What was episode? Seven? It was you all. Episode seven is the crux of the the Shaquille and Kobe and the three Pete and Phil Jackson. It was so good. So, so good. So, so what they say about me? Go ahead. Okay, okay we're going to do that on the... We're going to take a break, okay. and then we're going to come back. We'll do that on the other side, okay? You're listening to The Big Podcast with Shaq. Welcome back, everybody, on The Big Podcast with Shaq. Now, before we left, Shaquille, I was asking you if you've been um, watching the Lakers documentary on Hulu. You were a part of it. You did sit down, and you were interviewed for it. Um, spicy, I don't know if you've been watching this, but baby... I it haven't. Ever since is. Hulu was trying to do Mike Tyson like that, I was like, no, nah, I ain't watching Hulu. No. See, this one is team sanctioned, and you've got all the players participating in this from all the eras. Like, everybody's in it. And so episodes six and seven are the, are the Shaquille and Kobe eras. It, I mean, like, yeah, crazy. they get so real. I was, I, I just didn't, I didn't realize that they would be that real. Um, Michelle, did it did it get spicy? Very spicy. Very, very spicy. Mm. Dr. O'Neill, y'all told the truth in this thing. I was every, y'all need to watch it. It's good. I was so mad that like episode seven, I'm like, come on, I need the ne- I need the next episode. I felt like like a fiend. Come on, I need the next fix. All I can say is those are some of the greatest years of my life. Mm-hmm. When you're in the leadership position, as I was, it teaches you how to deal with people. And when you have a another guy that's an alpha male, sort of like you, you know, everything doesn't always go my way. Everything doesn't always go his way. But the main thing that we always did was we had respect for each other. Yes. And that was why we won three in a row. I always tell people, Episode six, episode seven. Doesn't matter who did what, who said what. 20,000 people in Staples Center. Championship goes out like this. I put my hands up like this. Who's the first guy to jump in my arms? The, the guys that's arguing all the time. And then when I go back to my real life, me and Jerome argue all the time. Me and Alex all, all argue all the time. Me and Spice argue all the time. Me and Michelle argue all the time. But because we have respect for each other, that bond can never be broken. So Absolutely. the bond that we had was an unbelievable bond. And I always get asked this question when, when I'm doing these these, these uh, speeches or whatever. If you had it all overdue again, what would you do different? Nothing. I keep it the same. Nothing. I wouldn't change nothing ever because it was beautiful. The story's going to be talked about. Listen, I ain't playing, what, 15, 20 years and we're still talking about the story. This series is going to win an award. I'm guaranteeing it's- this. It's it's crazy. It's I mean, it's Shaquille, it's you don't win. have to say anything, but I'll tell Spicy, like, it goes in depth. I, I didn't I know a lot of these things. I didn't know that that entire 
team that that Shaquille and Kobe and Rick Fox and all, I didn't know they had like some serious come to Jesus moments with Kobe. They talked about all that. All the players talked about that. Like, I just thought it was a Shaquille and Kobe back and forth. It was not. Like, I didn't know that Jerry West and Phil Jackson did not like each other. So I didn't. Let's, let's th- talk about it. Let's, Phil let's Jackson, talk about it. This, this, Phil this Jackson. Phil Jackson. Y'all was talking about Phil spicy. Jackson told him, get the F out of, pra-, like, told Jerry West that? Get the Is F this what out happened, of Shaq? Pra- as, as you remembered it, he said, get the F out the locker room? This this what happened? Hmm? Did Shaquille, did he freeze or is he just No, playing? he ain't freeze. He ain't froze. <laughs> he ain't froze. He, he ain't froze. It's getting spicy. But listen, he don't, y'all he talked answer. about it. He y'all talked about answer. it in the documentary. It's on tape. I just watched the episode. Come on, you didn't, hear, you, you didn't hear me say uh, nothing about this situation. I keep but Jerry real. West said it. He said it in, uh, in the documentary that Phil Jackson told him that. And Phil said, yes, I said it. I was on the record as saying, if Jerry's not here, I'm not going to be here. So Jerry was my guy. Jerry was the one that brought me there. I have a love and respect for Jerry. So Jerry, Jerry's my guy. I, I didn't see that particular incident. Mm-hmm. So, so no, knowing what you know about the Zen master, do you think he said that though? Yeah. He said he said it, and all the players, all of those players were talking about it. Devin George, Rick. Oh, Fox, but Shag wasn't talking like, about it. No, Shaq wasn't talking about it. Funny story about Phil. So Phil was yelling at Robert one day. Because, you know, mm-hmm. Phil has this thing. When he whistles, he wants to pay attention. So, yeah, yeah. So one time he was whistling at, at Robert, and Robert didn't turn around. So in the locker room, he said, Robert, I am your master. When you whistle, you turn around. Robert, says, Robert said, you ain't my damn master. <laughs> I'm, from Al- I'm from Alabama. We don't play all that master shit. <laughs> Next time you see Robin Laurie, ask him. <laughs> Couple things I didn't know either. First of all, I didn't realize ESPN broke into programming when you signed your deal with the Lakers. Like that was, they broke into programming to announce this and to take this press conference. That's wild. Because I mean, I guess it was like groundbreaking at the time. But they did because all of it, that. It wasn't because it wasn't really supposed to happen. I was, you know, like even now I make I make companies bid. So when Orlando gave me their ultimatum, we're only going to give you this. And then I met Jerry that night and he showed me that one, two, zero, zero slash. And I kept seeing and seeing it. And then I was like, you know what? Every time we lose, I'm in L.A. anyway. I got a house on the beach, the Strand. I'm always in L.A. I'm familiar with L.A. You know what? Let's do it. Then I signed at 3 a.m. So the next morning I had practice. We had practice for the Olympics, and they said, we need you to do the press conference. I thought, it was, I thought we were going to keep it a secret to the beginning of the season, but, yeah, they actually did it the okay. next day. Because it, it wasn't was really supposed to happen like that. Jerry said he was on the night. You guys were on the 90th floor of a hotel or something like that. He was saying in Atlanta. And that's where it, that's where it went down. He, the, you guys also Maybe talked before. about, I didn't realize this either. You found out that Phil Jackson was fired on ESPN. Nobody told you that they were firing the coach. That's how I, that's how I recruited all my players. Well, watching ESPN. So when I was wow. in, uh, when I was in uh, Orlando, they said, hey, we need Horace Grant, right? Mm-hmm. We need this, we need that. So I already had the method when I was going to L.A., so I knew I needed no players. So when I first came to L.A., I said, I need Brian Shaw. I need Rick Fox. Big Shot Bob just whooped my ass in the finals, so I know what he's going to do. Because one right. thing he knows how to do is shoot, and before he shoots, he's going to get the ball to that big man. I need him on my team. And, you know, he's the forward, and when they double me, I could throw it at him at the point. I need him. I need Rick Fox. I need B. Shaw. And then, you know, later down the line, I was like, I need all these players around me. I, I love it. What I what I don't want you to go into, because you don't have to, because you're not in the documentary talking about it, but all the other teammates are talking about it, and Spice, you have to watch it, is the incident surrounding Kobe in Colorado and what happened there that got back to Shaquille. And that, the hearing the players talk about that, was an eye opener for me because I didn't realize how that affected not just you, Shaquille, but everybody on that team. It, it's it's so good. I will never talk about that again because he's not yeah. here. We yeah. all miss him. Well, you know, they they want to tell a story, they can do it all that, but that 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 never needs to be discussed again. 
Well, I, I applaud the Lakers organization because they did sanction this for being extremely transparent and really talking about everything. I mean, they go into their family dynamics that I didn't know all that was going on. Like, and I didn't know anything about it either. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, okay, sorry. I just yeah, had, did, yeah, I Nichelle. Two Hello. I just had to, well, I'm sorry. Good morning. Spice. Take it over. Can, good can, morning. can we do that, Spicy? You we like can. take it all? You know she like talking Spice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Shaq was all over there coughing. I'm trying to, I'm like, oh, this is the perfect segue to what I got to talk about. Because if Shaq is coughing, there's a recipe out there to cure the cough, dog. Have you seen this? Oh, what gosh. The chicken uh, cooked in the NyQuil. This thing is, is, is going crazy. What? It's really like, no, you can't do that. You well, can't do, see, now you, you got your, your, your chef making you a grilled cheese. You can say, hey, dog, let me get some of that NyQuil chicken. What is happening? <laughs> and are they turning it with a flat iron? They're turning it with a <laughs> hair flat iron. What? This is wild. What is this supposed to do? And they putting the NyQuil back in the bottle? Oh, oh hell man. no. What is it? <laughs> Dude. What is the, yo? That that might be one of the craziest things I've seen on TikTok. Are and people really out here doing that? Like, are people how, really out here trying? Like don't, do that, don't do that, y'all. Right, so, don't do that. Don't do that. I have a question. When they say sipping on syrup, is that what they're talking about? Sipping on no. syrup, like are they talking no, about? No, that's like oil? a concoction. It's got no, Nyquil man. in it, but it's like other stuff. Yeah, permethazine uh, or something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. yeah, they call they calling that lean right here. I guess this is lean chicken, and that thing they ain't even put no seasoning on that thing. At least <laughs> put some lorries on that thing, some garlic salt, <laughs> onion powder. Michelle, next time we do a live show, if you make me some night cool chicken, I'll eat it. I got it. <laughs> hey right. man, Jack, you can't say that, bro. You can't we say might have one kids no because I don't. Bro. I'm not contributing to, to the delinquency of the TikTokers. I'm not doing that. I am not. Bro, how how is that a challenge though? <laughs> bro, how how are people eating this, dog? Hey, I'm gonna I'm, I'm try. I'm gonna try. No, don't don't do that to yourself, man. They say when you heat it or you boil like the Nyquil, like the medicine intensifies. Ooh. Don't do that. So are they doing this to get oh, high? My gosh. I don't know. Is that what they're doing? They're taking night cold chicken to get high? I ain't trying to find out. I don't know. These That's these, these weird. kids these days and these TikTokers, man. That's they, weird. They be trying something like everything, man. It's crazy, man. I be trying to get my kids up off that thing, man. They, I'm telling you, they neck, they neck be like this all day, and they. Well, you know, my this. my dermatologist has a roller because she said people now have like TikTok neck and like internet neck because you're like this all day and it strengthens the muscles here. <laughs> 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 it's true. So she has a roller where you roll out the muscles so they don't get all thick and you don't have thick neck. And what do you call the syndrome again? TikTok neck? TikTok yeah. neck. <laughs> yes. TikTok neck. <laughs> I'm just saying. No one wants TikTok neck around here. Shaq. Yeah. We got we we got to talk about how we we already touched on it a little bit, but mm. I can't just let it go away, man. Like you gotta you gotta stop thotting yourself out like this. Man. You can you, no, you gotta stop right. doing it, man. Like are you going to create like a, a, a <laughs> OnlyFans account or something like that, man? For just ainties, only ainties. It's only gonna get worse. Oh. Why? Why they don't know? Confession time. Okay. It's Photoshop. Thank you. No, it's not Photoshop. Confession time. Okay. I was offered an underwear deal, right? So I told them, give me nine months. Because in my vision, I would like to see an underwear deal, Fruit of the Looms, whoever, with me and all my sons. That'd be amazing. My sons have great bodies. Makes me jealous, mm -hmm. right? So I'm like, so I was working, I'm starting to see it. So I'm going on a 90 day program to where I don't drink or water. So I want to just get as close to them as I can. So when we come out with the underwear deal, Gotta be a dream for me. Shaq, 
Miles, Sharif, and Shakir, all in different style underwears and Walmart or whatever stores you got. So that's why I'm really trying to get fine. Oh, oh, now you make me feel bad now, right? So you're going you're gonna to bring no. the family into it and all that now. No, I'm just saying, this is why I am releasing all Thought Daddy picks. So, so anybody can get at you now? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like Fruit of the Loom, Haynes, the highest bidder? Yeah, anybody can come at me now. No, all right. Man. And guess what? The OBUC, the O'Neill Boys Underwear Collection. That's what I want to call it. Well, I love you got, it. You got, you got a fan in Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard is, is a fan. Ooh. Who is that? <laughs> wow. When I say I could climb this man like a tree, <laughs> I mean it. When I say, do you see all of the grooves in his stomach? Ooh, I could put my foot grooves. in to climb <laughs> on this man. <laughs> How oh. do you go to bed with the women that you are with? You are huge. Look at this man. He, Shaquille O'Neal is seven feet one foot. Seven feet one inch. This is why Shaq is dating women who are younger. Because if you dated me, I'm telling you, you can't be on the bottom with this man. He will kill you. Shaq will kill you. Let me tell you something. Do you understand how Shaq is how wide this man? 50 years old. If I got on top of this man, I'd bust my groin out. Are you oh. kidding me? Hey, killer. <laughs> Sherry's ready to risk it all. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man. Hey, Shaq, you man, all the ATs gonna be in the look DMs. At his, oh. right, look at his sly smile over there, though. Look yeah, at, man. Everybody got it. chapstick on each earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> And it ain't froze. Hey, he over there is cheese. She said she wanted to put her feet in the grooves on your chest. Put her feet Damn. in the grooves. Can I, can I let y'all be my uh, Thought Daddy uh, uh, staff members? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is the next video that I want to release. I'm just... Okay. Let's look at this spice. Let's. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you see the day spice? You right. see the day? It says, hey. it says Monday. So, yeah, so that's the They don't say what Monday. They don't say what Monday. <laughs> <laughs> like Monday from like 2018. That's, that's, that's back when you was in your 40s. <laughs> Shaquille, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. You knew that yes. was a thirst trap photo. You knew that was going to like blow up. No, actually, no, actually, I didn't. I did because because uh, I was on TikTok, and the girl said, "When you fifty and you fine," and listen, I think I'm the finest fifty year old in the world. So I just said, "Like, let me just put this out." Like, I wasn't trying to, you know, lies. If, if anything, lies. I, if anything, I just wanted to, you know, show people that I've I've, I've been working out. And guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling myself now, so I'm about to get finer <laughs> than that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling myself right now. I'm about to get Social media has validated him yes. and now it's on. Oh, yeah. it's on Shaq, you might have Sherry Shepard knocking at your door if you put out oh, another no photo. Question. She no might question. be at the front door. Oh, she ain't knocking on it. She kicking it down. Sure is. She said she was going to climb him like a tree. Michelle. Mm -hmm. My grandfather is a big fan of yours. He told me to sing you this video right here. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> hey, pop, pop. Hey, uh, look at you. Ooh, hey, boo. Mm -hmm. Hey, pop, pop. <laughs> that's my, that's my grandfather, Jack Hill O'Neill, aka Big Jack. <laughs> hey, Shaq. Yeah. It's it's a song out here, man. That's going platinum right now, dog. I, my only question is, would you hop on the remix? What well, was the name of the song? Oh no, it better not be what I think it is. What you, what you mean? <laughs> it better not be what I think it is. Let me hear the song first. You know what I'm talking about, uh, Nichelle. Period. Um. Period. Um. Yeah. Period. Oh my um, God. Period. Um. Um. Period. Um. Um. Period. Um. Period. Um. A couple years ago, it was a dude who called himself Big Shaq. And the things go, da, 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 da. and y'all made, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, made him famous. Yeah, y'all made him famous. He was going around, he was going around doing shows and all that. My question is, where he at now? So she's gonna be high for a week or two. You ain't gonna never hear from this girl ever again. In three what months, you? you ain't gonna never hear from this girl ever again. You gotta hop on what? the remix though, Shaq. Cause, cause, Cause guess what? She came out too hot. Now, if she can come out hot again, I give her the golf club. But a lot of us come out boom, and then we go bam. She came out bam. 
So like I mean, she did period. She could do exclamation, uh, exclamation, uh, exclamation, uh, exclamation, uh. No, no, ma'am. No, indeed. No, ma'am. We are not period and nothing around here. <laughs> y'all made that girl famous just like y'all made Honey Boo Boo famous. <laughs> um, Spice, you got any more? I don't. I just want to see if Shaq gonna hop on the remix. Period. 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 Oh, well. <laughs> he will he will so listen guys I, I have I have something for you we have a little game we can play in the next segment or we can call this a day because we've been on for a minute well, what's the score four to zero no score man you cheat every time this isn't you tall you two against each other it's more like it's called the big questionnaire it's digging deep oh. into your mind to get answers oh. to interesting questions let's do it Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to come back on the other side and we're going to play The Big Questionnaire on The Big Podcast with Shaq. Welcome back, everybody, on The Big Podcast with Shaq. Okay, this segment is called The Big Questionnaire. And this is me asking the two of you, and then there's some questions for all of us, just kind of dig into your head. Let our viewers and our listeners know a little bit more about us, okay? I don't know if you all ever saw that Barbara Walters interview where she said, if you were a twee, what kind of twee would you be? Like, so it's kind of like that. The first question is for everyone. If you were a dessert, what kind of dessert would you be? Okay, this is a game. So, Michelle, you get to judge who has the best answer. Okay, Ready? I will. Ready? Mm-hmm. Banana pudding. Ooh. With the vanilla wafers? Vanilla wafers, mm-hmm. instant pudding, because I'm mm-hmm. soft on the inside, hard mm-hmm. on the outside, but the ladies can't resist me. Yeah. Okay. Fresh banana. Ooh, okay. Come on, Spice. Your turn. <laughs> what yeah. about you, Spice? <laughs> I would be a regular chocolate chip cookie. Oh, you know, a regular it's chocolate chip It's not seasonal. Cookie. Not oh yeah, it's not it's not seasonal. It's not something that you just break out. Not a chocolate chunk, but a regular chocolate chip. No, 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 just just regular chocolate chip. Ain't no chunk, ain't nothing like that, man. It's something that you can always mm-hmm. eat. It's something that you always want late night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, just to get a little fix <laughs> okay. or two or three. Well, <laughs> you know, just well, I'm a little light. biased because <laughs> banana pudding is my favorite dessert. So I got to give that one to Shaquille. He knew that. I would be salted caramel ice cream. That's what I would be. If I and guess what? You would be salted by yourself. Caramel. Ain't nobody eat that. <laughs> you be by yourself. <laughs> nobody eat that ice cream. Cut that out. <laughs> okay. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? I think we already know Shaquille's answer. I'd be a gorilla. We know. <laughs> because every time you come to the zoo and look in the mirror, I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to just run to the glass and go. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back and just chill and do what I do. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Spice. <laughs> Go ahead, Spice. Um, I, I would be a uh, a rhinoceros. Oh, <laughs> you look like a rhinoceros, yeah. Spice. You ever seen a rhinoceros run? Yes, I have. Oh man, it's the best, man. It's, it's fascinating, man. You like how does something that big run that fast? But I'd be like an athletic rhino. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd be playing yeah. basketball and stuff. I'd be crossing people up, and they'd be like, "Man, how's this rhino doing?" I'd be dancing. I'd be I'd be on like America's Got Talent, and I'd be doing like little me and my homeboys, my, my other rhino friends. What do you call a a, a, a group of rhinos? Crash. It'd be a crash of me and my rhinos, man, getting together, doing some dances. Oh, man, it'd be something you ain't never seen before, man, a rhino. That is hilarious. Well, I got to give that one to Spice because he went all the way to America's Got Talent. I'm sorry. Your face has got me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Who was the 
one player that you always wanted to play with, but you never got a chance to? This is for both of you all. Magic Johnson. Oh, that's a good one. Can you top that, Spicy? Barry Sanders. Oh, those are very good. But I have to give that one to Shaquille because Magic had much more longevity than Barry Sanders did. Barry could have, but he chose not to. He could have, but he didn't. I know, so I got to give that one to Shaquille. Okay. (laughs) If you were the opposite sex, who would you most resemble? Sherry (laughs) Shepard. <laughs> I would climb you like a tree. <laughs> Shaquille. Nah, hold up. Uh, hold on. I gotta, hold on. Let me see. I gotta get the name right. Oh boy. Oh boy. I I would be Serena out in this thing. I'm the goat. Okay. okay. Serena, baby. Okay. <laughs> Put a wig on you. Who would you be? If I was a girl, that's who I would be. That's who I'd be if I was a girl. Leslie Jones. <laughs> oh, let's do it. Let's do it. That one's got to go to Shaquille. That one's got to go to Shaquille. Les, Even, Les is my girl. No, Miss Les, Les is my girl. She's when funny. I first, she's so funny. We, because back in the day, you used to have to go to the to the uh, com, uh, improv on a Monday, comedy store, all the greatest comedians went there. Bro, she saw me one night and went off. She says, Shaq, mm-hmm. you big black. Me and you have a big old black shaka zoo. Oh, she went off on me for about 30 minutes. <laughs> my girl, Leslie. I like it. I like it. Okay. <laughs> if you were a superhero, what superhero would you be? Mm. I'm not going to even answer that. Because you already we know. know what superhero we I know. am. We know. Spicy. You know what? I would I would be, it would be a, an original superhero somebody fat because you always see all these superheroes they got all these muscles and all that but you never see the, a fat man be a superhero we could we could be superheroes Spice, so i can't give you that fat point man. no i can't give you that point that fat point man. goes to shaquille no nah, everybody everybody gonna say superman and batman and wolverine no nah, man no 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 fat man fat man let's, let's talk about some some, some fat a <laughs> uh, fat superhero we need a fat superhero, man. I'm tired of all these skinny, strong, like muscular, muscle bound superheroes. We need a fat superhero, man. Nacho Libre. Disney Nacho Libre at me, was man. That. Marvel. I love Na- Nacho Libre. Was, I like I'm, Nacho I'm already Libre. ready. I don't have to get ready. I'm already ready. I'm fat. Like, let's shoot it. I would be Shuri from Black Panther. That's going to be the new Black Panther because she's the smartest person in Marvel's universe. So I would be Shuri. What are you talking about? Okay. She is. She's the smartest person in the MCU. Okay. You just dye your hair white and be Storm. <laughs> Boom. Problem I would rather solved. be Black Widow over Storm. I'd rather be Black Widow or Shuri. Those are my favorites. Just so you know. No, yes, Michelle, I'm a nerd and I read can, all the comics. You could freak it. Okay. This is my favorite. This is my favorite question. If you were a car, what kind of car would you be? I would be a burgundy Porsche Panamera with white leather interior. Paid for already? Paid for. Free and clear. I would be a convertible Rolls Royce convertible riding through Chatsworth with the top down and make people go, (laughs) is that? Is that? (laughs) Is that spicy? (laughs) I would be a, a Tesla Model X and I'll just pull up to drag races and just dust everybody. They'd be like, man, how's that big car beating everybody? Because I got the rhino mentality. I know the thing. How does it do yeah, so big? I and, he's, thing. <laughs> and he's going I so fast. The <laughs> Tesla Model X, baby. Getting 400 miles electric. I'm going to give you both a point for that. Okay, if you were a singer, what kind of, what singer would you be like? In my head, I think I am, so. Uh, I would be... Can you give me a preview? Can you hear it, Spice? Sherry Shepard, this for you. Show me, Spice. Spice, the floor is yours, man. The floor is yours. 
I'd be I'd be Luther, big Luther, of course. Big okay, Luther, okay. just yeah, like big, just, just like just Luther. like said the entertainer said like if 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 Luther sing the ABC A B C D E F G H I J K M O N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. You win, That's what I'm saying. Win. I get the point for that. <laughs> I get the point for that for sure. For sure. Okay, if you were a rapper, Shaquille, mm. you can't say yourself. Who would you be? Notorious B.I.G. Okay. Ooh, nice one. Nice one. And um, I would have to go with Heavy D. Ooh, Ooh, the fame. Girls, girls love me because he's the old way love heavy D. Rest, rest in peace to both. Man, it's that's that's my dude. When Overway Lover came out, I was like, yes, yeah, somebody finally speaking for me. I gotta give Spice a point for that. It's tied up. I would be the lady of rage. Yours nice. was easy. I rock rough and stuff with my Afro well, Rage. Well, rage. well put the left side. Well, put the left side of your hair in the Afro Puff right now. Do it. <laughs> I don't have a, 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 a I don't have a, a pit. <laughs> I, don't have a, I rock on with my bad self because it's a must. It's the lady of rage still kicking up dust and, 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 and up dust <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Man, you can get if, that, that Nyquil chicken. See, if you were president, <laughs> who would be your vice president and why? You guys need a minute to think about it? No, I, I got to go with AC. Hey, man, the, man, the, the stuff I run by the wife, dog. Purpose, I'm telling you, she'd be the true, voice of reason. True. She'd be right on the money. She'd be, she'd basically be the president. She'd right. basically be the president. No so it'd be like George Bush and Dick Cheney when he was really the president. She, George Bush just showed up. For you know football. how people read off the teleprompter? She'd be over <laughs> there like. <laughs> she'd be the teleprompter. I love it. Shaquille. <laughs> Flavor Flav. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you know you get a point for that. <laughs> Flavor Flav. Wow. Yeah. It's 2027, yeah, boy. boy. <laughs> well, I would keep it in the family and I would have both of you. I couldn't have both of you be my vice president, but I would have Spice be my vice president and I'd have Shaquille be my secretary of defense since he would get to pick who goes to war, when we go to war, what happens there, all of that. Yeah, you're the police <laughs> that man. So you would be the secretary of defense and Spice would be the vice president and I would be Madam President. Dope. I like it. And guess what? You would be the head of state. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I made that way too easy. Way too freaking easy. On that note, we got to get out of here. Thank you guys again for joining us. This has been so much fun. I missed you guys. We got into it today. Lots going on. Mercury is in retrograde until October 1st. So hang in there, y'all, because stuff out here is weird. Please like and subscribe and check us out on the NBA on TNT's YouTube page because we love hearing your feedback and we love that you guys are watching us. See you next week.